Kevin? I want to see my my got my selfie stick my out again. It's, stick. it's pretty cool having a selfie stick. I can move it around. I could even stick it out the window. I could stick it out the window. I don't think that would be a great idea though. Because I'd probably end up losing my camera and that would suck. Where are we going? Can you see in the back? Oh yeah. You see all that stuff back there? We're going metal detecting. It's Friday. Good Friday. Look, we even have our Easter basket. The Easter bunny came to us. Thanks, Emily. Yay. At the beach today. It's foggy. Yucky. But I just got a ring on my second hit. The first time I, I got a key. It looks like it's a junk ring. Maybe not even a ring. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it looks like a ring. It's pretty hard looking. Anyway, that's really awesome. Yay! I love finding rings. Bring on some more. Well, this is a cool one. Look at the designs on it. That's really neat. Huh. I like it. I don't know what it is. It's really green. Eh, it's got some shiny inside, but I think it's junk. But it's cool if it's junk. That's neat. We'll see when we get home. Maybe we we'll find some marks or something on it. Yay, two rings. Yay, me. It's not gold, but I'll keep it. This looks like a ring! Wow! That looks nice! What is it? Hard to see, but that looks really nice! Oh yeah! I don't see any markings inside! Zero markings! Well, look how nice that is. Wow. Oh, yeah, baby. So, tell us what it is, Kevin. It's a coin. Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> These are my detecting buddies. Look, they brought us to a field. Isn't it? That it is. I don't know, I can't make anything out of it. Oh, well, it looks like someone got another coin. Oh my goodness, let's go see what it is. They got their phones out taking pictures. Must be something cool. Oh, another coin here. Todd's coming. I got a pocket knife. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what year it is. What even is it? Oh wow. Another one in hard shape. Yeah, get right. Give it a little rub. It's hard to do this one handed. <laughs> Is it? That looks yes, like it is. Britannia. 
good out of ten. Nope. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Wow, could, that's cool. It could be a Can you see a date on it? What's the date, Kevin? Tell us the date. Sometimes if you look at the other side of the dirt, you can mm. see an imprint in them. But Anybody want to take a look? Yeah, yeah. Alright. So you can see on there. Tell us what it is, coin man. <laughs> it's a circle. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> it's a green circle though, so that's a good sign. Yes. It's smooth. Put some water on that. I can't oh, make okay. out anything. Well, it's, it's sort of like there's a sun or something right there. A sun? Yeah. What coins have a sun on them? Very old French coins. See how there's a sun right there? Oh, wow. And I'm wondering if that's a... Oh, I... I have no idea. I've never seen anything like that. That is... That is cool. Awesome. Wow. That is neat. It is. That's crazy. Well, there's, oh, there's a couple of them. Well, this, this is the reverse side. Wow. Wow, well, it's right. I, what would that be? I don't know. Well, and then you flip it over and there's... There's one on the other side. That, that's weird. That's crazy. That is. That'll be some investigating tonight. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Sounds good to me. All right, it's Kevin's turn. He found a coin. Let's Hooray. see what it is. Yeah. Look at him rubbing at it. Oh, yeah. I love Scratching rubbing it. it. <laughs> I'm going to take some sandpaper and clean it up. <laughs> oh, there's the bust on it. Oh, look at it. It's got the little ponytail thingy. That's Is King that George. the same as the other one? Like the same one that you got? That's a King George III. Yeah, give it another spray. He's facing right. Todd's was facing left. Oh. I didn't rub that too hard. Gotta rub the face right off. That's 1770s right there. Wow. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find it. It should be Britannia on that side. It looks pretty tough, <laughs> doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, it should be a line across to the bottom, and then she has a shield here, and she'll be holding something if, it's, if that's what it is. <laughs> the date should be right here. I got my, my camera out to take a picture of that. Uh, that looks pretty toasted. What you say that was? a? a looks like K KG3, King George III. King George III. <laughs> End of the day. Time to go home. Oh, does. Here's mine today. Here's Bob's. I, what? Todd's. <laughs> <laughs> Me and names are horrible. Wow. That's what? insane. <laughs> so I got this little ring. It's nice. 
very tarnished and it has 825 inside. 825. Which I was reading could be a cheap version of silver. So I put it in some baking soda with some tin foil. And nothing happened. It didn't get any cleaner. So I'm going to electrocute it. I'm blocking the light. Gonna stick it in here, plug it in. See if that takes some of the corrosion off. Maybe it'll just take bits of the ring off. Who knows? Let's see. This is another ring I stuck in there. It's not a bad ring. But it looks the same as this one. Nothing's happening. It was doing some bubbly bubbly, but it stopped. So I don't know. Kind of looks like silver. But it it has like white on it. So I was thinking maybe it's made out of lead. Is that wacko or what? It's a nice ring. It's heavy and it has like designs on it. It's just junk maybe. If it doesn't clean up any I will electrocute it as well and see what happens. So after about five minutes of electrolysis, I have learned that this little ring is a fidget ring that the center spins. Ha! Huh. Well, that's cool. It's starting to look a lot more like silver. I'm going to put it back in for another five minutes. Crazy. Crazy awesome. Nice. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Is it crazy, Finnegan? Someone wants to go to bed. Oh, are you tired? Wow. That's super nice. And here I thought that was a piece of junk. I totally thought that was junk until I saw the... 825 inside. It spins. Look at that. Silver. Huh. Wow. Yay me! Now I have to go show Kevin because he doesn't know yet. <laughs> All right, this is the second ring that I thought was junk. It's all covered in white, crusty stuff. And I can't see any marks in it. But I put it in an electrolysis bath and started to shine it up some with some silvo. And look. Wow. This is a very heavy ring. So I'm just not sure. That's crazy. Look. This side that doesn't have any silvo on it. This side with the silvo. Woohoo! Oh, I'm just on cloud nine. Cloud nine. Look at the snow. Ooh. I was hoping that when we came home yesterday, it would be gone. It is not gone. It is still there. Melt. Melt. Go away. So, here we got some silver rings. And my little ring that I don't know what it is. I think it's white gold, but it has absolutely no markings inside. So, we're going to test it with the gold tester. So, what do we have here? We've got we got a gold testing kit. It has the little stone. I don't even know what the stone is made of. Is it stone? I think so. Soapstone, maybe. We've got silver tester. Silver tester. 
And notice how all of her acid is right by her coffee cup. Yeah, that's <laughs> safety first, people. A little acid will never hurt anyone, will it? <laughs> oh, wow. What, did you grow up in the 70s? <laughs> so we've got, we've got platinum tester. Look at that platinum. Do you think we'll ever use this? <laughs> Probably I, not. I don't think. I think this is one that will never get used. And realistically, we, we, I've never used this silver either. Because well, you, don't, you don't have you can, to use it. You can tell silver. So we've got 22 carat, 18 carat, 10 carat, and 14 carat. So, so it, it tells you to start with the one you think it could be. I'm just going to start with the 10 carat because I really don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to start with the 10 carat. Now it's a destructive test, so you have to scrape it's, some of it It's on. not really destructive. It, it doesn't really hurt it, but you, you're yeah. supposed to, like, make a scratchy scratch. Uh, no, not like that. On the side where it's not I, noticeable. I, there you go. One is good. There. And then I'm going to turn it sideways. I should actually have some gloves on or something. No, it's okay. I won't feel a thing. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll keep it away from my fingers. So anyway, Safety you, first, you put a little of this on. You let it run down. If it makes it the line dissolve, then that means it's 10 carat. If nothing happens, or if it discolors, it's 10 carat. If nothing happens, then you try the 14 carat, and then the 18 carat, and the 22 carat. And if nothing happens, then it's obviously not gold. Then it would be like a mystery. Well, maybe we would have to test it for platinum. <laughs> I would think that if this was platinum, it would be marked. Like definitely. 17 times, yeah. Yeah. It is a nice ring, but it's not platinum. So, I'll try not to spill this acid on myself. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Zoop. Oh. Run, run. Nothing is happening. Nothing. Nothing. So it's not gold. It's not 10 karat gold. All right, let's try the 14 karat gold. We'll try a different line here. Bloop, and there it goes. Nothing is happening. Nothing. Can you grab a Kleenex? I'll wipe that off. We don't want to advertise. I will grab you a facial tissue. Okay, right. <laughs> so it's not 10 carat. It's not 14 carat. Let's try the 18 carat. Let's see what happens. Try and keep it away from the other. Yeah, and then nothing happening either. Let me try and wipe it off a little bit. I think we got to start again. Let's make a new line. Eighteen carat. There's nothing happening with the 18 carat either. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be sad if this ring is not gold. All right, last one is the 22 carat. Oh, sadness. Look at that, nothing. Try the little gold ring that you know is gold. And see how could that be that our solution is old. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> want it, it to be and gold. And it just doesn't work anymore and we need to get a new kit. That that yeah, could be it. Right. 
So it, it didn't, nothing happened for all of those. That means it's not gold. Why did you think it's gold? I thought it was gold because it's just really well made. It's, it's pretty, look at it. It's nice. It's, it has the weight. And this thing, look. The doesn't magnet, stick to does a magnet. Doesn't stick to a magnet. And it's a good magnet, see? Yeah. And you can tell it's a, it's a totally different color from the silver. Mm-hmm, it is. But that silver looked like lead when it came in. Yeah, the yeah, it did. Okay, so let's try the platinum just for fun. Just. Uh, let's see. Where's our mark? Oh, the platinum. Oh, it's 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 doing something. Oh my God! Look. That's you wiggling mm, your hand. No. It's not platinum. That's a shame. <coughs> Do this one. <clears throat> All right, let's try the gold ring. Let's wipe this off. I found this little, this little gold unicorn on the beach. This wasn't I found last year. It didn't make it into a video. It's in bad shape. It's broken, and it's, it's split here and on this side. It's ready to fall apart. So. I don't even know where I'm going to scrape this. Off of his foot, I guess, or... I'll try it on the broken side. Ooh, that's there. a nice line. Does this one... This one has... Uh, I think it says 10 carat, doesn't it? I can't tell, but it... it it looks like 10 carat. Maybe I'm looking on the wrong side. We will start with the 10 carat. Let's see. Since we know it's gold, we'll find out if our solution is just no good. All right. That didn't really dissolve any. That was the 10 carat. And here is the 14 carat. Hmm. Mm, interesting. It looks like it did dissolve it a little more than the than the ten. Can you see? Not exactly. Yeah, it doesn't look I, like anything. I don't really know. That's uh, yeah. Maybe our solutions are just. Old. <laughs> Maybe it's just a bunch of water and we got scammed. <laughs> You've used this before and it's worked. Did it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, last year. Or actually, no, the year before. Wow, that totally dissolved it. It's gone. That was the 18 carat. That can't be 18 carat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, it's totally dissolved. That wiped it right off the map. Let's watch it again. But it's a crappy little ring. Yep. Yeah, that is 18 carats. So we do know our solutions still work. The 18 carat one, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it does have a something carat in there. Something K, but I can't read it because, well, I'm old. Well, that is awesome. Well, not awesome for this one. So if it's not 10 carat... Not 14 carat, not 18 carat, or 20. Did we try the 22 carat? Yes. Yeah. Or platinum. I don't know. Should we try the silver on it? <laughs> well, maybe. Let's try the silver. Because it doesn't stick to a magnet. <laughs> now that it's not gold, you just go to town. Right? Yeah, just 
erase it right off the block. Let's try the silver. Let's try the silver. Wow, it's not silver either. Put the lids on these bottles. <laughs> it's like, you know, don't want to splash all that whatever acid on me. This is a nice ring. It's silver. It's not really that nice, but... It's heavy. It's heavy, and when it came out of the water, we actually thought it was like made of lead because it was crusty and it was white like it had white speckles all over it yeah it was like a dull gray it was really weird looking and i, I was convinced it was made of lead and i was it wondering was, it was like that button thing <laughs> yeah it was it really was it was crappy and bleh. i was thinking why would anyone wear a lead ring talk about getting your dose of lead poisoning every day <laughs> but um it's not it turned out to be silver so that was really awesome and this one, the other silver ring. We thought that was a crappy metal too. We thought, yeah, it has 825. Eight, no, two, that five. one. No, yeah. That's the one with 825. With 825. So apparently 825 is a lesser silver than 925. Well, 925 is 92 and a half percent. <clears throat> this is 82 and a half percent. It just I've never seen one that's 8 825. But show them how cool it is. Oh, it spins around. Look. Beep. That is neat. It's like a fidget spinner. Before fidget spinners were even invented, there was already fidget spinners. I think they have ball bearings inside there or something. Nah, it just spins around. That's pretty cool, though. That is neat. I really like that. So I got some keys, some cars. Like I said, this 18 karat gold ring last year from last year so we've got this now we know is an 18 karat gold ring <laughs> which is broken I, though it's broken and crappy but still it's a cool little ring i found that last year on a beach that we have never been to and i thought it was awesome okay. i've got some keys some cars and i just wanted to show you how easy it is for people to lose their jewelry this is my earring. That my you, earring. See yeah. how it closes? It's almost impossible for that to get lost. Well, we were out to a park last weekend, and I came home with one earring. Did you come home with two ears? These are my nice gold earrings, and it made me sad. So you didn't find that. In fact, you lost that. I lost <laughs> it. So <laughs> next time we go back to the same park... Maybe, so, maybe I'll find my earring. So if anybody finds one of these, it's <laughs> Wanda's and send it to her. One penny token. And there's the leaves and things. And it says right here. Province of Nova Scotia. And I think it's 1852. The, the date on it would be underneath Queen Victoria's head, which is right there. But they only made it one year. So it's easy to date. Yeah. So we went to find a guy's ring. He contacted me last summer. And we went out. And the, the surf was just too rough. And it was miserable. We didn't find it. So I wanted to go one more time to see if we could find this guy's wedding band. And it, it was not happening. So we met up with Todd and, and Renee. Renee. And they took us to a field that they had permission to dig in. And I th was this the first find of the day? Yes. The first fabulous find of the day. Ten minutes into it. Oh, <laughs> look, guys, look what I got. <laughs> the first find of the day with the X-Cal in the field again. This X-Cal amazes me every time I go out. It's, it's like the best machine in the world. Best machine in Nova Scotia. But Todd had a dais, and he let, he let me hold it and lift it, and this thing was the lightest thing ever. It would really be nice to have a dais. Oh, is that a don't, hint? Don't, don't you think, Evan? Is that a dais hint? Dais would be nice for digging around the fields. I mean, look at this coin. It's fabulous. 
It's it's fabulous. Makes me really happy. It made everybody happy. Well, it made everybody <laughs> jealous. But the sad thing is, is that these coins are awesome, and Kevin loves finding coins. I do. I would rather find these. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the coin lovers. When I when I find a coin, it it is it makes me all happy inside, and it's it's awesome. But it's nothing compared to what the feeling that I get from finding these. I'm sorry, but yeah. These are nicer to find than coins. Not at all. <clears throat> coins yeah. are so awesome. You can date them and they're just, just think of the history in a coin. Yeah, but if you find a ring and it has initials or a name inside, and if you can find the person to return it to, that is the most happiest feeling ever. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. Everybody out there, happy hunting. Oh, you didn't show them the foreign coin you found. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm just blabbering on. Look, I got 10 francs. Here, I'll put it in my palm. That is awesome. Flip it over. 10 francs. 